If you want to learn how to trade just like me, join the community, click the private discord link, sign up through this membership level and you will gain access to weekly group mentorship calls for free. Amazing. This is the dump that we were talking about yesterday. Uh, over the past uh, couple of weeks, I mentioned on the five day time frame that we had seen a signal flash and it's not a good one. It's actually a bearish signal. I explained in my last Trias update that the short term moving averages are of course bullish and so we are seeing higher highs and higher lows. The only thing stopping us is this white moving average circle over here. It doesn't seem like a moving average. It's because it just appeared here. This is the 200th five day period as we're on the five day time frame, And that's why it's taken so long to actually appear. With that, we've now created this average suggesting the longer term trend. So these ones are your shorter term, what's happening in the here and now, what we are expecting over the coming days and weeks. And then over here, what could be happening over the next months? So we were getting up to there. That's amazing. We were breaking out bullish, but then this is now appeared, suggesting that this is the top of our downtrend. Yes, downtrend, even though we've been going up, because this movement up suggested by the 200 EMA is that it's just a short term move up. We can change that. We can make this a long term move up. We simply break this 200 EMA. And in my last few updates, I've been showing you guys the process in order to do so. So we're going to go through that today again. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We're 100 subs away from 7K. I know that we can achieve that uh, in the last couple of weeks of this this month and yeah let's jump into this video so that is the point that we need to break through it's essentially four dollars fifty we knew this anyway as we use support and resistance here on the channel but the moving averages also do help as we know we were seeing a previous resistance over here and resistance resistance and we're looking at support right now today and this is the dump that i was talking about so we could see that this was a previous resistance that we broke out of so if we are looking to continue higher and eventually break this five dollar high over here this golden pocket as well as this previous resistance should be held as support and then again we only needed the support and resistance to help us out then we noticed that the golden pocket is also there using our Fibonacci's. This is a key level, guys, very key level. In fact, this is the area we were meant to get rejections from, and we did, and we're meant to lose the low over here, but we failed to do so. And with that, it's given us another opportunity to form a bullish pattern such as this double bottom or inverse head and shoulders over here. And so it's given us this reversal and a break of the golden pocket, creating the reversal wave, which suggests that Trias should eventually get up to these price targets. But as we have broken out over here and validated those targets, the 200 EMA appeared at our key level of resistance anyway, being a massive 50 cent psychological level of $4.50 and $5. So very key level. That is why the 200 EMA has appeared there. But we didn't need that to know this. And then also look at the lower uh, support right now, which was previous resistance. We didn't need the moving averages to tell us that this is support and that this is the resistance. But these are further confirmations. If you want me to teach you how to, gu uh, to guide you through uh, reading the chart, then use the links in the description down below to take action on the course, the mentorship or whatever it is. I've got offers that will last until the end of this month. Uh, so message me for the discount uh, on Twitter, links in the description. So over here, we need to hold the 20 right now. It's also in line with our previous resistance and our golden pocket. So there's three key things in this area suggesting that this must hold support in order to continue to these targets. Simply hold this right now. We, we, would continue, we will continue ranging uh, between these two points and we're waiting. Will this lower end break of $3.50 or this $4.50 resistance break? Looking for, uh, of course, a final break of that $5 high to get up to these targets from today's current price. This is a 40 to 75% move being prepared for you guys free here on the channel. If you're a holder, then yeah, if it does come, amazing. If you're a trader, you know what to do next. So in last in the last day, we made an update suggesting that this is going to get a rejection from this point and that we would come down into this golden pocket. We now have done so with today's candle. So this is exactly what we've been calling for over the past week. And now that it's come, I wouldn't be too uh, worried about it right now unless we're losing those key levels. So we know that $3.50 and when we've now come to the daily time frame, it's actually suggesting $3.35. I'm going to go back to the five day just to see what this is. 
is saying $3.35 was the daily and this is $3.30 pretty much. So it's a nice five cent area of support. That's the final, final, final layer of defense right down over here between these lines and this 200 EMA. At all costs, we need to hold above this. So yes, we have been suggesting that the golden pocket needs to hold. That's where the 20 is. That's where the 0.5, $3.50 is also resistance should be support. But it is essentially saying that even if we come down into here, it must hold a support, but we could have a wick that comes down there and then actually still continue to hold it before a follow through to the upside. That of course doesn't need to happen, guys. I'm just showing you that that's the deepest we're allowed to come down to. This is essentially holding us in this uptrend. We can see over here, we created a high, then we held the 200 EMA, we created another high. We held the 200 EMA, then we created another high. We lost it over here, but we came down to this low and we failed to lose that low. So then we've reclaimed the 200 EMA, breaking the golden pocket. So just maintain this area, including the 200 EMA and the golden pocket over here between $3.30 and $3.88. And then we're looking for the reversal to eventually break this resistance and head to our targets of a 40 to 70% move. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment and share. Hundreds subs away from 7K. Let's hit it before the end of this month. And for the remainder of this month, so we've got as we've got many holidays coming up such as black friday and many more um i'm going to be bringing discounts but you need to private message me through the links in the description down below on twitter more information about the offers will come up right now cheers if any of you are interested in learning how to trade just like me, there's multiple options. Click this ebook. It covers all the strategies that I use in these YouTube updates. So you will have all the same skills, covers the Japanese candlestick, chart patterns, support and resistance, why I use EMAs over trend lines, Fibonacci's, divergences, and again, using these all together to profit using them. I've also got a discount on my course at the moment, which ends at the end of this month. So that's down to hundred pounds. You also gain free access to my Discord community for the next three months where you can expect to be a part of 12 to 24 group mentorship calls. If you want something that's a bit more personalized to your needs, then join my one-to-one -one mentorship plan. You can choose five or 10 hours of my one-to-one -one help and included will be the three months free in the community as well as my six hour long video course.